for this generation, we have a 22 phase design, as well as using 105 amp smart power stages on the extreme. On the master and on the elite, we do have 20 total phases and the master will be using also the same uh, 105 amp smart power stages, just like the extreme. And the elite will have the 70 amp smart power stages. Um, now, this is an improvement from the last generation, which both the master and the elite, the X570 versions, they did only have 14 phases before. So, um, these CPUs are going to be powerful, so uh, we are going to be amping up that VRM design as well. We've also beefed up our thermal designs as well for this generation of motherboards. Um, so let's play the clip and we're going to tell you all about our latest thermal designs on X670. So as you can see here in our graphic, we do have the, uh, the heat pipe, the, uh, the Fins Array 3, which went by really quick. So the direct touch heat pipe sits directly on VRMs and everything, connecting directly to our Fins Array 3. And that allows for an efficient transfer of heat and cool air dissipation. So um, if you've seen any sort of pictures of this, you know, outside or seen our boards in general, you'll notice that this is a very large heat sink and, you know, it's 900% larger surface area than traditional heat sinks. And what that does is allows the most amount of cool air to kind of hit, um, hit the array. And that allows for the fastest heat dissipation. Yep, it clicks in just like that, guys. Um, so um, you no longer need a screwdriver. It's a flip, like a, kind of like a flip or switch with uh, it does kind of bounce back so you just kind of move it to the side and then slot your card your SSD drive in and then you flip it back or, or the way flip back and then lock everything yep. in place so if I wanted to change it out or upgrade my drive it's very easy just like that just like that so that's the easy latch plus all right so that's our M.2 Easy Latch, guys. As you guys can see, you can now install your M.2s without needing a screw, which is really nice. There is a button on the right side of to the right of the uh, the PCIe lane over here, right? Um, so. This button will allow you to, when you press it, it will release the graphic card from the PCIe slot. So now let's look at the extreme, or sorry, the elite really quick, I'm sorry. This is the regular PCIe easy latch. And as you guys can see, uh, compared to other motherboards, it is a little different. It has a elevated or much, much bigger uh, switch. There we go. Right, so if you take a look, it almost looks like your normal PCIe latch, but that would just be this area here. And what we've done is we've added an extended lever that when you press it, it'll be a lot easier to access. Uh, so it is raised up vertically as well, so that if you you know needed to release your graphics card and, and upgrade to a new one, you can easily reach it along the side, just like that. What is QFlash Plus? It's a way a Gigabyte exclusive uh, way to, for you to update your BIOS without installing CPU, memory, or anything. Um, simply with a USB drive. And you can enable it right here. The Elite does have the, uh, does have the button like right here. And the Extreme does have the, a clear CMOS. And then right next to clear CMOS is going to be the um, QFlash Plus button. So um, it's really helpful guys if you're uh, ever needing to uh, update your bios that's review uh so we have prepared a little comparison table for you guys so you guys can see the differences between all the models um so the extreme is going to be the flagship that's for enthusiasts and overclockers uh, it's going to be coming in at 699 msrp it is an eatx motherboard with 22 phases total and using 105 amp smart power stages it's using our latest generation thermal designs, thermal, thermal guard 3, fins array 3, uh, has the 8mm heat, heat pipe, uh, as well as the 12 WMK thermal pads. 
And it's going to be supporting PCI 5.0 speeds on both the uh, GPU and the M.2s. It has actually a uh, four uh, PCI 5.0 M.2 uh, X4 slots, as well as, of course, a full uh, PCI 5.0 Time 16 slot. Like Kevin mentioned, it's using our uh, 10 gig LAN. It's the Marvel Action LAN, I believe. That's the that's the right model name. And if we can jump to the next graphic, we do have some extra uh, things to round things out. Wi-Fi 6E on the extreme, ESS Saber DAC, as well as the Easy Latch Plus versions for both M.2 and PCIe. And of course, well, all of our boards come with QFlash Plus. So extreme might not be for everybody, but it is a really, really awesome board, guys. Um, next up, we have the Master. And the Master is going to be coming in at $499, guys. This is going to be uh, still a mainstream... I, I would say it's a more mainstream board than the Extreme, for sure. Um, I would pair this with like an R9 um, or R7. Uh, it is one of our higher-end boards, of course. Um, EATX 20... Uh, phases with 105 amp smart power stages all the goodies for the thermal site same as the extreme guys um, and of course uh, it can support both this is an e-board it can support both uh, PCI 5.0 on the uh, PCIe time 16 and the M.2 and then we also do have the 2.5 gig LAN as well as uh, Wi-Fi 6e on this and then you get easy latch plus on both and then finally, um, our Aorus Elite AX. This one is going to be a just an ATX board coming at $289.99. Um, this is going to be the lowest end uh, Aorus X670 motherboard, guys. So keep that in mind. Um, we have a condensed lineup this time. Um, still 20 phases, of course, but um, using 70 amp pow smart power stages. Uh, it doesn't have the Fins Array 3 or Thermal Guard 3, but still has a enlarged uh, thermal heat sinks that covers basically all the VRM area, as well as our Aorus M uh, Thermal Guard, not the 3, but uh, it is an enlarged Thermal Guard already. 8mm heat pipes and um, slightly uh, lower tier thermal pads. Um, just keep in mind, guys, uh, you're not going to be able to support PCI 5.0 .0 on any X670 non-E motherboards. Um, and to kind of round this out, this does have the Easy Latch uh, normal versions, um, as well as it has the um, Cool Flash Plus. But of course, Wi-Fi 6C all the way around. So guys, um, like, we would recommend, I guess, pairing um, like an R5 or R7 with the Elite. It can, it can handle that. It can still handle the R9, of course, but if you're going to be overclocking, uh, you might want to go for a Master. Um, that is kind of a... You know, much stronger VRM design, thermal designs, as you guys can kind of see there. You know, e even though it is um, a little bit less on the features, Elite is actually my personal favorite pick of the board. And we think, I, I think that most gamers, um, you know, out there you know, would be very, very happy with an Elite because, it, you know, it is an X670 and it does have a lot of premium features, including a lot of our, you know, improvements such as the Easy Latch and everything, uh, including 6E on Wi-Fi. So, you know, for the price and for the performance that you get out of it, this would be my personal recommendation. Um, so guys, uh, let's now talk about where these bundle boards will be available at. So, uh, it will be available at our major, uh, U we're showing US and Canada uh, retailers. Sorry guys, uh, international folks. We don't have that info just yet, but uh, Amazon, Best Buy, B&H, uh, Canada Computers, Memory Express, Micro Center, and of course Newegg. And something new that we've added to our X670 motherboards is uh, we're extending our warranty as well by two extra years. We're celebrating AM5, you could say. It'll be three plus two for a total of five. So, you know, just in case you guys were wondering, the five-year warranty, this is something, as Howard mentioned, very special that we're doing and extending our normal warranty another two years. Yep. So, guys, uh, just keep in mind, this is going to be like the disclaimer text says in North America only. Um, but we're offering this to kind of give you guys a reassurance that uh, we, we believe in these sports, we trust these sports. Um, and, you know, they're going to be uh, hopefully problem free for you guys for the whole until you need, need to upgrade again. So, oh, yeah, sure. I'm excited I mean, about that. You know, of the five or six boards I tested 
myself, I didn't run into any issues, actually. Yeah. All right, guys, um, and that kind of wraps up our introduction on the X670 motherboards. Um, if you guys have any additional questions, uh, be sure to jump in on our IG story AMA.